welcome back to the sims 4 let's play and we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different so i have noticed that ea currently have one of the stuff packs up for free so i 100 percent recommend that you go and grab that but today i'm just going to be giving everyone a little bit of a walkthrough as to what is in it also i know on part two of the sims let's play i did say that i did want to renovate the garden so we're going to be doing that in this video as well in the create sim mode you get a few new outfits a few new hairstyles on the bottom row i do actually have two shirts that i quite like for the male and female sims also the hairstyle on the bottom row is quite cute as well just gonna scroll down and show you guys this this is the hairstyle i quite liked this is the female t-shirt and the one next to it I quite liked as well. That was the male t-shirt for the Crescent. Here you've got your build mode items. I probably won't use too many of these. However, these lights are very, very pretty. And it's just nice to know that you've got the option to add them in if you want to add them in. And they're free as well. Definitely will be getting one of these water slides when I have more funds. And like I said, this stuff pack is the backyard stuff and it is completely free, so grab it while you can. Now, one thing I've noticed is we don't really have that much of a back garden in the apartment. The front garden is a lot bigger than the back. I also do want to change how the outside walls look as well. Also, don't know what this random pole is doing here. I'm assuming it's holding the top part of the house up. But I am going to be getting rid of it and I am going to be changing the colour of it because I want the outside like a black sort of wood colour. And then I also want the roof a nice black and maybe do the trimming a nice black as well. Going with the doors and the windows. Would have been easier if it patched all in one go but it's done it in sections. I'm going to go for a nice flat roof. Flat roofs, in my opinion, tend to look a lot better than the tiles. That is looking so much better. I'm going to change the trimmings and I'm going to make them black too. I'm gonna get rid of this patio on the outside because one thing I love about The Sims is the airbrush tool. Now the airbrush tool lets you do many, many things. For example, I'm gonna change my grass to the darker green. Already looking a lot better. I can also add new patio to the front and the back garden without having to use any of my funds. You simply just get rid of these tiles and then spray it on. It is very, very fiddly to do, especially if you're like me and you want it absolutely perfect. Here's me trying to make sure it's all straight and aligned properly. This did take a few minutes to do. I 
I'm gonna do the same to the back as well using the same color and the same tiles. Again, very fiddly and trying to make it as perfect as possible, but that has just made it look so much better. Just gonna straighten the grass up a bit because it has gone a bit over. The outside of the apartment now looks a lot better, but I'm thinking about putting um, a fence around the front. I don't think I'm gonna get one around the back. I think it's too small, but I can definitely get a nice little pickered fence along the front. Gonna change this mailbox color to black as well. the little picket fence from the backyard stuff pack which we just got for free i'm going to use a white picket fence just so i don't go too overboard with the black i'm going to keep the mailbox there I'm definitely going to have to get a bench or some decorations or something. I just feel like it looks a little bit plain at the minute. I would love to put a pond in or a fountain, but I don't even know where I would start. They do so many little cute things. I was going to attempt to put one in, but I didn't want it to go wrong. This little bush came with the um, backyard stuff pack. It is really, really cute, but I'm debating whether to get one or not, or whether I'm gonna put a little bench by the window. That does look really, really cute there. But no, I don't know. I'm feeling more, I'm feeling more of a bench. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for the bench. There's a few new ones here from the backyard stuff pack, but then they're not really taking my fancy. These look nice, they're quite pricey though. My Sims haven't started work yet, so I'm still limited with what funding I've got. That would honestly look so cute there. Not too keen on the larger one with the um, flowers on top, but this one is definitely cute. I am gonna go for this little white bench though. That looks super cute right there. I'd really love to have a swan or a duck, but I think I need a pond for that. debating whether to get this flower ornament or not, also from the backyard stuff pack. They do a nice little blue one. It is super cute. But I have now just spotted these lights and I think I'm gonna get the floor lighting instead. I'm just gonna put these along my path. I don't want nothing too fancy.
I'll do for now. Yeah, I think that looks quite good. That looks absolutely awesome. There's not so much I can do with the back. I'm quite limited with space for the back garden. I didn't think I was going to be that limited. But we've managed to do a nice little front garden. I have, however, noticed that I've missed that one bit of trimming. Just going to quickly go into build mode and change that. There we go, that is a lot better. Gonna give the apartment a little twirl. Move this out of the way so you can see it properly. Or would you look at that? Just like the renovation, it does actually prove that you don't need a lot of funds to make your apartment look nice. Gonna give you one more little spin. This is the back. And this is the front of the apartment. And that is it. That is my walk through through the backyard stuff pack. Again, it is free, so go and grab it while you can. Even if you don't use the pack, the stuff is still there. There's always the option for you to use it, but don't use it, whatever you want. And I will see you in my next video.